this is Norb Cam coming at you, of all places, live from Detroit, Michigan, here right on the waterfront of the Detroit River at the Renaissance Marriott Hotel, right on the border, right on the border of uh, Canada. But uh, my last evening here at uh, in Detroit as we finish up our... Um, Going through the subway. Yo, what's up, everybody? It's been a long time. It's been a long time. Too long. Anyway, yeah, live here from Detroit. Uh, it's been a long weekend here for my daughter's uh, volleyball tournament, nationals. We got our butts kicked. Can't put it any other way, but we just got smoked. It was not even close, not even funny. But today was it. Tomorrow morning, we come back home bright and early, five in the morning. Anyway, so on top of that being a really crappy weekend in terms of volleyball, uh, which is the whole reason why we're even here, site of, you know, Ford Field where in Super Bowl 40, the Seahawks got robbed of all places. Um, then to hear the news that Cam Chancellor uh, officially has called it quits. Debatable whether he's actually retired, or including myself, has posted that he's retired. I think technically he's not retired. He's just said he's played his last football game. It's a big difference. Technically, if you don't want to talk about money, he won't. I don't think he'll actually retire because he's still under contract and guaranteed. So as long as he just sort of stays in the league, he'll get paid uh, for not doing anything, basically. So who would retire when you've got all that money coming in, right? But I'm not bitter about it. This is pretty cool, though, actually. This is, a, this is the GM building here. Uh, it's pretty awesome, actually. Detroit is actually a pretty nice city. Uh, I kind of had this, I just sort of had this negative impression in my mind. And from all the reactions of people who um, <laughs> I tell people we're going to Detroit. But it's actually a pretty nice city. And the people are, are, are really cool here. Other than this one guy, this one homeless guy who tried to steal $10 from one of my daughter's teammates. Other than that guy. Uh, everyone's been pretty cool here. Um, but, yeah, so um, I'm just wandering in circles, actually, right now. I get my way back to the hotel. But talking about Camp Chancellor, I don't want to sound bitter because, you know, he got his contract. Seahawks took a, a long-term extension chance on him. And, uh, oh, <laughs> um, and we're hoping it would work out for the, for the long term. It didn't. He basically played not even a full season after the extension. So from a contract standpoint, it's a pretty, pretty deal for the organization, a good deal, which is why you do a guaranteed money deal like that. So that um, should the worst case scenario happen, like career ending injury, you still get money and you're not hung out to dry uh, without money for the rest of your shortened career. So um, anyway. But let's talk about the positives. My positive is that Cam Chancellor was one of my favorite Seahawks of all time, actually. I've said that many times before. Um, just the way he plays the game. It's kind of a dying breed, really, when you think about it. Uh, a man as ferocious and violent and uh, huge and fast as Cam Chancellor was. The guy was, I don't know, maybe a one in a generational type of player in the sense that because of the evolution of safety for the game, they just don't really allow those kinds of hits anymore. Even hits that he made that were totally legit uh, ended up being called as penalties. I take, for example, the hit on Vernon Davis in a Sunday night football game uh, at home where he laid out Vernon Davis on the sideline. Uh, they called, they threw a flag on him and it shouldn't have been because it was a totally legit, uh, a legit hit if you look at it. But he did that all throughout his career, um, starting off when he was drafted, what, nine seasons ago, kind of made a living on uh, just destroying people, laying them out, you know, and really scaring uh, receivers and tight ends from going across the middle. Again, the rules sort of protected um, players from that being as much of an issue because you got to a point where now you really can't lay a guy out. Do you guys remember the term hospital pass? Um, oh, yes, and that hit on uh, the game-saving hit on, uh, uh, what's his name? On uh, uh, Johnson, 
uh, on a game against uh, the, the Lions Monday Night Football game. Knocked the ball out at the goal line, saved the game. Um, but yeah, going back to uh, hospital pass. You know, there used to be a term for you old school folks. Hospital pass was when a quarterback would basically lob a ball out across the middle to a receiver going across the middle, and he'd have to stretch out and get it and expose himself completely to an oncoming safety or linebacker would knock him silly. And they call that a hospital pass because basically it's a pass that sends, sends a receiver to the hospital. Uh, and that used to be what stopped people from doing it is you didn't legislate it. You just basically say, um, don't do it or you're going to kill your receiver. So you just don't throw that kind of pass. Now you can't do it anymore. Now you can't hit a defenseless receiver. So the word hospital pass has really become extinct in terms of being in the game. But going back to, uh, to Cam Chancellor, um, that's why I think it's going to be missed. It's not only what the player that he was, but the, the play he made during this last phase of this version of the NFL before they really got soft and started changing all the rules, whether it be quarterbacks, uh, receivers, and all that stuff. And so, man, 31. I mean, I knew his time, the way he played, he wasn't going to be playing for a whole lot longer. I hoped he at least last through the majority of his extension. I mean, we didn't even get a year out of that, unfortunately. So, um, but yeah, he, is, he was awesome to watch. He put the boom in Legion of Boom. He was uh, really, to me, the MVP of the Super Bowl that we won, Super Bowl 48. Uh, Camp Chancellor was the man. He was knocking guys out. And I think he set the tone of that game um, when uh, Thomas, I remember, took a pass across the middle and uh, and he caught it. But then Chancellor just destroyed him, sent him back after like a three-yard game. Pow! Back behind the line of scrimmage. And that just sort of set the tone like, uh, yeah, you're going to catch that pass, you're going to pay for it. And man, they were destroying guys left and right like that all throughout that game. Uh, Chancellor had an interception and uh, a few other big hits in that game. Not to mention throughout that season and, and beyond. Of course, no, everyone will remember the time he, he got another rule that got taken away when Cam Chancellor jumped, timed the snap count perfectly twice on a field goal attempt by the Panthers and jumped the line and somehow never blocked it, actually, which is crazy. He jumped and, and uh, uh, missed it, I think, the first time. The second time... Or no, I think he made it, but they called something offside. Whatever it was, he never actually blocked the ball somehow, but he was in there and did it twice in a row, and that was awesome. And then, of course, they got rid of that rule. Once again, taking all the fun stuff out of the league. Um, but, yeah, so we won't see that play ever again unless the NFL changes it, and which they won't because it's getting to be too soft. Uh, again, a player for a time when at least a few of the fun rules were still in place. But, yeah, Cam Chancellor, man. Uh, had another big hit, I remember, in uh, the playoff game, the, the NFC Championship game against the Niners in 2000, the 2013 season before we went to uh, the Super Bowl. Uh, I believe it was Vernon Davis again. He just had a thing for na- destroying Vernon Davis. I think Vernon Davis was happy when he finally left the 49ers. He was like, man, get me the heck out of here. Not group on my health. Um, and so... Yeah, it's just too bad. I, like I said, I knew it was coming. I knew that uh, he wasn't going to be around. And I pretty much figured that after seeing what happened with the Cliff Averill situation and him retiring, that the same thing would happen with uh, Chancellor. I just kind of thought, you know, I'm going to rule him out in my head, rule him out. But if he comes back as a pleasant surprise, it'd be like, you know, the cherry on top, a little bonus, like getting the player, you know, added to your roster you didn't expect to have. But alas, not going to happen. And so uh, the era of Cam Chancellor, Bam Bam, Cam, the Enforcer, the Enforcer Part 2, can he easily, of course, all due respect to, uh, retiring or calling, hanging it up, uh, 2018. So, yep, it's a sad day. However, this just means... You know, next man up. I know it's an, it's an easy uh, saying to make, but we do uh, have to have guys like Bradley McDougal and Delano Hill, guys like that, to step up and, um, you know, be the next generation. 
who knows? Maybe we got the next Cam Chancellor laying in the wings somewhere. There was a point where nobody knew who Cam Chancellor was, you know, and he had to kind of earn it and become that guy. So maybe, maybe that's waiting for us to happen. Who knows? But uh, I still believe and it's been a lo- it's been a while since I've, had, since I've gone live with you guys. So it's it's kind of nice to to do it after it's been a long break. Now this season is volleyball season is finally over. Excited to get back into football and uh, get back into getting ready for the for the regular season. It's gonna be here in no time, folks. It's end of what I say end of June. It's July already. Uh, training camp end of this month. I mean, preseason is only like. A few weeks away, a month away or so. And next thing you know, the regular season will be right here. So um, it's going to happen fast. This summer's going to go by scorching quick, I know. But um, I'm excited. I'm excited to get back into football. I uh, got a lot of videos that I've been overdue uh, working on, a few music videos and rivals videos planned. So I'm um, excited about 2018. And I think the Seahawks will surprise a few people in 2018. Um, no one's really given us a whole lot of credit. A lot of people have mailed it in. I think uh, I think we're in store for some for some pleasant surprises. Plus, there's rumor that J.R. Sweezy could potentially be coming back to town. He actually came back to town today just for a physical and a visit. J.R. Sweezy, former uh, offensive lineman for the Seahawks, got cut by the uh, Buccaneers uh, yesterday, I believe. So he's back in town checking things out. You never know what's going to happen. So. Um, pretty excited about that. I, I liked Sweezy while he was there. And of course, it was a free agency game that took him out of the equation, which is taking him out of the equation over at uh, Tampa Bay. So here he is coming full circle. So I like the potential. We'll see what happens. But let me see real quick. I see a pile of comments I didn't answer to. I find the 13th uh, game guides, Dane, 12th man, Anthony D, Raider, Mike. Yeah. Retired? Technically, no. But out of football, yes. Ride up loader. What's up, man? Thanks for watching. Gang Green, Mr. Nuke Man, Code Cold Tube Myers, Luigi555, TGTV Tank Mode, Monkey Brick Studios. Uh, who else? Who else? Jacob Nikokia, I think is how you pronounce it. Casey Skady Crowder, Jeffy Paul, uh, Devin Peterson. What's up? Darren Mann. Uh, Mr. Nukeman 2025, and Vitaly Seahawks fan R22, Jake Ryan, MCS27, YouTube, thanks for watching. Gangry David may get season tickets again. Woo! Believing, got the quarterback. Now all of a sudden people are buying the season tickets again. That'll do it. Um, Luigi 5555 went to the Mariners game on Saturday to the turn ahead the clock game. Was one of the first 20,000 people who got the bobblehead. Nice. Some guy tried to buy it from five euros. <laughs> nah, you gotta keep that sucker. Uh, Cal Mellon, 73. Said Maxwell and Shaq are both corners, and Cam is strong safety. Do you know something I don't? Um, yeah, you got the first two right, but Cam will not be our strong safety. Probably Delano Hill. I guess it depends on what happens with Earl Thomas now. We gotta discuss and see what happens with the Earl Thomas situation. Anthony D going to his first Seahawks game on August 30th. All right. Uh, I will probably be there too. So, uh, yeah, we'll have to meet up again, brother. Um, Deadly Skills. Jake Ryan. There are backup corners who can have better experience as a starter and have more progressive. Uh, Gangry David, what does, Can- what does Chris Osmo think of the end of Chancellor? Hmm. Put on my mode here for a second. Sosmo, what do you think about Cam Chancellor retiring? Yeah, he's with it. He beat up on too many of my 49ers. I'm glad he's gone. Glad he's got a busted neck. Yeah. Bye-bye, Bam Bam. Bye-bye. <laughs> Asshole. Always like that, man. Um, oh, Luigi555 got a, a hat, not a bobblehead. I thought they were giving bobbleheads. Oh, wait, that was the other Dean. That was the... Uh, that was the game uh, where Paxton pitched. He had a, they had a bobblehead for Paxton with the uh, eagle perched on his um, on his shoulder or something like that. <laughs> it's Gangry David. You know they say Jets, J-E-T-S, Jets, Jets, Jets. Well, here's one for you. N-O-R-B, no, no, no. <laughs> you can lead it. How about you put in a video for me? 
All right, we'll get it going on. Uh, Jeff Burns going to his first Seahawks game. Game Talk G. What else? Uh, Akira Deep, Norb Cam is a bum. Kiss my grits. Eagles want sea chickens are done. Oh, Eagles fan getting all cocky. Wins a Lombardi is suddenly the top of the world or something. Actually, pretty good. Though I think um, I think Carson Wentz is highly overrated on that uh, top 100 countdown, if you ask me. Um, Valentin Galvin, gonna miss the man. He was a great player. Hope he has a great retirement. Oh, he'll have a great retirement. He's got his woman. He's got his money. Um, he's gonna be just fine, you know. Which is why you leave before you get your body messed up. You can't enjoy those millions of dollars. Who wants to be? Who wants to have millions of dollars and be pushed around in a wheelchair eating your lunch and dinner through a straw? No. You get out while you still got your health and all that. Uh, <laughs> Gangry will do it on the call in. All right. Beast mode with the Patriots uh, symbol says hi. But, uh, um, all right. Well, that's it. I'm going to keep this short and sweet. But I just want to get that out there real quick. I couldn't do a proper send off to Camp Chancellor from Seattle, but maybe later on I will with proper gear on and everything. I'm wearing my Puget Sound volleyball shirt to uh, support my girl. Um, anyway, that's it, man. So uh, I'm going to get out of here. Got to hit a flight early tomorrow, head back to the beautiful Emerald City. It's been nice being in Detroit, but I'm ready to get the heck out of here. Um, and that's it. Back to back, back home. Get back to work. Get back to videos and get back to Seahawks, baby. All right, take it easy. We'll talk to you guys soon. And uh, yeah, baby, go Hawks. Lob 2.0. Lob.